Welcome back to News Channel 9 at 6. The next time you open up a bag of M&Ms, mm -hmm. be sure to check the backside to see if it's made just down the road. 550 full-time employees work at the Cleveland Mars plant, turning out millions of chocolate candies a day. News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas takes us inside to show you how M&Ms are made in Cleveland. The secret behind the most popular letter in the League of Candy can be found inside the Mars plant in Cleveland. To make the 300 tons of milk chocolate used to make these M&Ms every day, 13 truckloads of sugar are pumped into the plant a week. So it's no surprise. It's the first thing you smell is chocolate. It's a, it's a beautiful part of the job. This machine molds the milk chocolate center of the 300 million M&Ms made here daily. In Cleveland, we make about 10 different varieties, including peanut, almond, peanut butter, milk chocolate, flavored, all the M&Ms you can think of. There are more than two miles of conveyors high above the plant carrying the candy to the next part of the 16-hour process. It goes through a, random, a section of cooling tunnels. After the cooling tunnels is when we start putting in our sugar shell process. The first of dozens of sugar shell layers prepare the chocolate for the color that's waiting inside these huge drums. The color is built into the sugar, so the, uh, the sugar uh, already has the color that we're going to use for that particular batch, and then it just builds up a nice solid shell that gives you that crunch when you taste the m and m After a quick polish, it's time to blend the rainbow of candy into the perfectly mixed bag, worthy of any grocery store, movie theater, or picky Mars employee. We'll always go and pick up a bag of M&M's and make sure it's made in Cleveland. If they're not made in Cleveland, they won't buy them. So what makes an M&M &M an M&M? &M? It's the M, of course, but that part of the process is so cool, the candy can show you how to do it. Creating the classic candy that's promised to melt in your mouth, not in your hand, for three decades. We made first production in 1979, and we've been making a delicious chocolate ever since. For Made in Cleveland, I'm Latricia Thomas. The Cleveland plant also makes Twix candy bars in the Cleveland plant and is getting ready for Halloween season, their busiest time of the year. Next week on Made In, if you wander down Fraser Avenue on Chattanooga's North Shore, you might see a brewery that's making beer under a name that dates back to before Prohibition. Latricia will show us how the Chattanooga Brewing Company makes their signature ales next Friday on News Channel 9 at 6.